The ability to perform a global edit in Maximizer is a huge time saver because it allows you to make multiple changes to multiple records all at the same time. And because it can do this, best practices dictates that you only allow trusted and experienced Maximizer users access to this functionality. To control a user's permission for this, we go to Administration and click on Administrator and click on Users and select the user in question and then click on Access Rights and Modify User Access Settings. This user will only have the right to perform global edits if he or she has a check mark in the box here next to Allow Global Edit. If there is an X in this box, the user will not be able to use Global Edit even if they are a part of a security group that does have that permission. Let's go back to the address book where we have done a search and identified four entries where we need to change the country field from Canada to USA and the business field from Wine Retail to Retail Sales. After selecting them, we click on Edit, Global Edit. As you can see right away, the Global Edit functionality greatly simplifies the process for making these changes compared to what we worked with in earlier versions of Maximizer. We begin by clicking on Pick a Field to open the dialog box from which you can select a field. And we can select both basic fields or user-defined fields. And if you can't remember exactly what a user-defined field's correct name is or where you have hidden it, simply put at least a part of the name up here and allow Maximizer to search and find it for you. As before, you cannot global edit a formula field or a duration field but the other five types of user-defined fields are open for business. So let's go ahead and select Country as our first field, let Maximizer find it, and we select it and click OK. Next we specify a rule to tell Maximizer what to do in the edit. The available rules will depend upon the type of field that you are changing. For example, alphanumeric, date, numeric, single value table fields, and yes no fields will only have these three options available add when empty, replace, or clear. If the field is a multi value table field, such as do not solicit by, you will also have the option for append and remove. And of course, append means that you can tag an entry in the database with more than one value from that table field. By the way, if you do not have permission to modify a particular field, that field will be grayed out and therefore inaccessible to you. The final column is the value that will be subject to the rule that you just specified for the field that you selected. In this case here, we want to replace Canada with USA and since this is an alphanumeric field, we type in the value that we want in that country field. And as you've already seen, if you want to add more fields for the same global edit activity, just click Add Another until you've added all the ones that you want. And if you change your mind about a particular change, simply click the X over here to cancel that particular selection. Since we also want to change the Business User Defined field for our entries, we will select that field, we'll click on Business, we'll keep the choice at Replace, and we will select Retail Sales. Finally, if you want to add a common note to several entries, Simply write the text for the note here, and no, you do not need to attach a note to any field changes, you can do it simply on its own. When you are done, click OK, read the message, and if you're happy with what you're doing, click OK. A process indicator up here will let you keep track of the edit process. And by the way, you can go ahead and work on other areas in your Maximizer while the global edit is in process. This is important if you have a large number of fields that you want to change that could take a while to work through. You can even exit from Maximizer and Global Edit will continue working even after you've done that. But as you would logically expect, you should not try to manually change a field value that is being handled by the Global Edit process. And here's a second best practice recommendation. If you have a large number of entries that you want to edit, do the Global Edit on a couple of entries first. And then if the result is what you wanted and expected, you can go ahead and do the rest of the entries with confidence. And a third best practice is recommendation. If you are using self-hosted web access, do a backup of your database before doing a significant global edit so you can go back and try again if you make a mistake. If you are using CRM Live, we perform backups for you so we have you covered.
When the process is complete, you can click here on the View Global Edit Results button. This will switch you to the address book view if you are not there already and allow you to see the fields that were changed if you have them displayed in the column view that you are currently using. If you are already in the address book, the list will be refreshed and show you the updated data again if the fields you changed are in the column view as they are here for our example. And there we are. And if we want to see the note that we added to each of these entries, we simply click on the notes following window and there's the note that we added. That's it! A powerful time-saving tool that you will want to handle with care but which will save you tons of time when used properly. Bye for now.